What's happening fam? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's doing well. So today is the first day in four days where we had rain every single day non-stop. And it's been like about a week since I've had my my boy Abomination here. It's a 2021 Ram 2500 with the 6.7 liter Cummings diesel. You guys already know that shit is dope. So this truck didn't come with a bed cover and I didn't want to opt for a hard cover because I didn't feel like spending $1,200 because there's so much other things I bought to do videos with with all of that money. I got for a grand, I end up, get, I end up getting the Banks cold air intake system pedal monster that I did a video on. I'll link that up. And now I got this right here. This is the Tiger T3. It's a tri-fold soft cover. And the reason why I got it was because I've had a soft cover when I bought my other Ram, Bruce. When I bought him, this was in back in 20, early 2019. So I had him for four years and he came with a cover and it was a soft cover and the cover lasted the entire time, never got ripped, everything. But that's just because I'm just OCD and I take care of my stuff. But anyway, this cover, you could get it on Amazon. It's actually pretty cheap. I got it for like 15% off. It was about 237, 15% off. It came down to like around 200 bucks with tax. I think it cost me like 217 to 220, somewhere around there. But honestly, for a, a soft cover that came in literally next day, that was pretty cheap. You know what I mean? So for a grand, I end up getting three things instead of just one, you know, investing a thousand, twelve hundred dollars in a cover. You get what I'm saying? So the reason why I'm getting a cover is because I'm going to be putting a lot of stuff back here because I'm going to a show next week up in Connecticut. So I want to make sure everything in my bed is protected from the elements. Now, guys, packaging was pretty good. It came in its own big cover or case, you could say. So let me pull this out real quick. All right, guys, so I know it's bright out. But this section over here, this section with this uh, this red fabric and this clamp type piece, this is gonna go to the further end of the truck. They actually give pretty good directions here and it also comes with clamp pads, like these pads stick in between the, the bed right here and this clamp right here just to fill up the gap of space. Okay, it also comes with this weather stripping in case you need it, just in case this portion here is lower than the sides. Mine isn't, so I shouldn't need this whatsoever. Okay? Also, on the first page, you'll see, if you never did this before, this is simple. This will literally take you about 10 minutes tops. <clears throat> you literally see the outline over here of how what goes where so you have the front clamps going all the way up here and you have these rear clip clamps over here the latches that go towards the tailgate so and then you have obviously your safety straps like when you fold it it's uh, you can buckle it up so you know it doesn't fly off or whatever the case might be and you lose your investment and that's really it this is like simple stuff so let's get this over with All right, guys, so after you place the cover on the truck, make sure you're even on both sides of the bed. Make sure like your spacing is even, okay? Now, this part is just gonna hang right here. Now, normally you could just put this up here and tighten it and you could possibly be fine. What they do is they give you these spacers in case you need them. They give you four spacers, so what you can do is you can literally unscrew this right here for some leverage. Let me show you. 
the threads are fine, so it's gonna take a little bit to unscrew this. Okay, now once you're done, oh, that falls out. Just take out your, take out one or two of them if you like. Okay, put this bad boy back. Cause he goes like that. Okay, put one here, one here, and then you screw this back in. Oh, that's, I'm sorry, that was three. Oh no, that's two. Yeah, this has a built-in spacer on the actual piece as well. So now, when you're done, you don't have a, uh, too much to screw on, you know what I mean? So the space is actually giving you leverage. And as I told you before, you also have these pads right here. These pads, you can stick, you can stick these pads so you don't scuff up your, because I think mine, the last one I had was like a hard type plastic. This is like a type of metal piece. So you could put this here. I don't think this is gonna get really scratched up and nobody's gonna see the inside here anyway. You know what I'm saying? So you can opt to put that uh, piece in there if you want to or not. And also what you can do is this screw up here, you can actually take this out and move this arm over. You can move it over for a more straighter angle. And I think I actually might do that. All right guys, so I just unscrewed the middle right here. You pull out the, you pull out the bolt and nut. Let's see how this is gonna work over here. Okay. And then you put the, put the locking nut back in this groove, hold on, let me show you. I've got a light here, because I know the freaking sun and the, the glare is messed up. There's no metal here. So you can see that. Put one finger on the nut right here. Okay. Put one finger on the nut. Screw this bad boy in slowly. Or what you can do, you could always lift this up since we didn't clamp this down yet. You know what I'm saying? We didn't clamp anything down, so you can always lift it up. But now look, once you just fit it right there and it's nice and straight, you know what I mean? So that's actually, that's actually pretty cool. Let me lift this real quick. Lift this up. There we go. It's tight. Now we're good. And obviously you do the same thing on the other side. That's it. All right, guys. So both sides are done. I actually put the spacers in there and I'm going to use this, uh, this scuff pad. So you stick it right here. right here so that metal don't jam on this or whatever and it's it's very so it's like it's you're filling up the entire gap of this right here and look it's nice and straight now and we don't even have that far to go up let's do this real quick as I said I already made sure after I adjusted this piece I made sure that my space is again were perfect on both sides of the cover. So that, so all I gotta do now is just tighten that bad boy down. Okay, let me just do the other side real quick. Okay, so the other side is done. I'm just tightening this down. Guys, do not use a tool or anything like that or pliers. This is just hand tight. There's a lot of leverage on this thing. 
like this look that shit ain't going nowhere pushing on it so please <laughs> don't use any tools and f up your shit that you just bought but as soon as it starts getting tight you'll know when to stop trust me you'll know exactly when to stop this stuff is like it shit ain't going nowhere nowhere that's what I'm talking about. All right, guys. Also, don't forget to adjust your straps so you can tighten this bad boy down once you're, you know, if you're hauling any load or whatever behind here. And now, here comes the final part of this. Now we can unfold this. Guys, in case I missed it before, this is for the six and a half foot bed. So please pay attention to what the hell you're buying. It's coming out nice already. Okay, now, so the final piece of this. Just check this here. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Yeah, it's pretty even. If it was a little wider, that would have been cool. But yeah, it's pretty even on both sides. So now, final piece is this bad boy right here. Should be able to see that right here. Okay, press down. That's it, literally. Very simple. Look, I'll show you again. You press down on the cover, fit that groove. Hold on. In here, that's it. This one here, same thing. same thing now guys as i said you can also this one as well you can move you can move this to over here instead so it's not angled if you you know i mean if you want to but it's fine you know i mean there's a lot of leverage and i think let me see something oh yeah and you can actually turn this you can actually turn this this right here and adjust and like tighten it up if you wanted because there's threads on here so you could turn it and tighten it up you know what i mean now here's also another cool fun fact this has some rubber over here as well that seals when this gate closes and if you have a space you can always use that gasket and line it up on this surface over here so you can have a better seal so you can always use it either in the front or in the back. You have the option. I did not need to use it. Watch this. You hear that? That means sealing up right there. Nothing. Nothing's going in. Looks pretty good. Looks really, really good. Nice. I like it. The only thing I would have to worry about, I might put some gasket right here just because there's a there's a um there's no there's no liner there's liner here liner here and none right here so i might put some in between that space just to to prevent any type of uh leakage whatsoever but it looks pretty damn good man guys definitely like subscribe comment let me know what you think it's going to be listed in the link in the description yeah it looks good Look at that bad boy. Looks good, looks good. All right, guys, so before I go, <clears throat> number one, under there, under the uh, cover, snug up all the screws that's under there. Make sure they're nice and snug. Remember, this stuff sits, it could be in a warehouse, it gets jostled around in shipping. It's gonna get jostled while you're driving and the, the truck is shaking, stuff like that. Make sure you snug everything up under there okay get yourself number two get yourself a bottle of this this is 303 aerospace protectant uh link it in the description any car guy you should you should have a bottle of this thing this thing will help restore the shine it repels dust staining it prevents fading it prevents cracking i you could even use it as like belt dressing this thing is fantastic look at the shine on this thing freaking beautiful 
and it it really protects it because guys i've been using it on like the inside of my subaru stuff like that. that's why i never have to in a, at a car show i never usually have to clean the inside at all and number three as i said i did use the weather stripping i don't know if you could see it right there right here i used it on both sides and guess what now you cannot see on the inside i was able to see little creases in the corners of light coming through i was seeing little peeps of light now you can't see anything so now the entire bed is totally sealed so once again guys definitely like subscribe comment let me know what you think and i'll talk to you guys soon take it easy